Hey, CSC 230 web development class. Hey, I just want to check in with one thing with you about Replit. And you've been watching a lot of older videos that I recorded in the fall, and it's good that I had all those, and a lot of the stuff is going to be the same. But as I've been doing some other activities in Replit, I noticed that the autocomplete isn't working. Now, I'm on a Mac, and I'm working in Chrome, and what I'm talking about is down here in CSS, if you'd start typing background color, I see background come up, and then when I put dash, I'm not seeing color come up. And you used to get a list of things. And then when I do a space, if I start typing AN, antique white comes up, and I'll put a semicolon. And then we used to be able to hover over here, you click off and hover over, you get that color picker, and you could change the color. And that doesn't seem to be working. And just to give you an example, this is in Firefox on a Mac. And if I work in Firefox, now I don't have the dark theme on. If I start typing background, it seems like the autocomplete is working. And again, they say make sure that you go to settings and code intelligence is enabled. And it is. It's always been enabled. So, And I think I always tell people to enable that. But I'm in Firefox now. And if I start typing background, I get background color. And if I type antique like antique white and I put a semicolon that works so it seems like it's working but when I hover over I'm still not getting any of that RGB color picker anymore and I think part of the problem is they changed to code mirror uh, editor from Monaco it's just the type of a backbone of the editor that they had worked in and they did it I think to have it more mobile friendly but it seems like some of these some of these features are missing I mean even if I go into uh, if I go into JavaScript and I do something. And JavaScript code completion is really helpful, especially with everything like get element by ID. If I start typing document dot get element, you know, usually you'll get the dot get element by ID and all the other ones. I've done this before and, it, and it's really nice to be able to select on them because with all the camel case and everything, it's really confusing. And that's not coming up either. So you know, that's kind of unfortunate for now. I mean, I don't think I'm going to switch out <laughs> at this point from here. I mean, we, we may actually switch back to GORM at some point because we'd like to work in WordPress. Uh, we can make a database and work in WordPress. But I'm just curious if anybody else is having these same issues. Maybe in, in Microsoft Windows, if you work on Windows and you work on Edge or something, maybe you're not having that problem. Or maybe in Chrome, you're not having the same issue as well, because I haven't seen a lot online. I've been looking through the forums to try and find information about it. But if you have any information on that or if you have any experience on that um, in terms of what you've faced or if you saw the same thing and you just thought you were going crazy because on the video I'm getting autocomplete and you're not, uh, let me know. I'm just, just curious about that. So I just wanted to check in with you about that, that I, I do realize that that seems to be an issue. And I'll check over the videos and make sure I address anything. Or probably from here on out, a lot of the stuff's going to be new anyway. So I'll make sure I address any of that lack of autocomplete or the lack of changing these colors. I mean, that's kind of it's kind of a pain to, to go look up colors rather than be able to just hover over here. So anyway, just throw me an email if you have uh, if you've noticed that or if you had any trouble with that or if you're confused or anything like that. I'm just curious uh, or if maybe you're you're not seeing that. So just let me know.